There's a lot of confusion surrounding fire, flame, and plasma. For example, take a look at this video of a railgun firing a metal projectile at hypersonic speed. Is that trail that follows the projectile a flame or a plasma? Some people don't even know exactly what fire is or believe that fire is plasma. This is of course not correct. They are separate things. Fire is a rapidly occurring oxidation reaction where light, heat, and reaction products are produced. Flame is the visible portion of fire and is basically just a hot gas that glows due to black body radiation. It's important to separate fire and flame because even though fire produces flame, not all flames are produced by fire. Flames are produced simply whenever the air becomes hot enough. Redox is a portmanteau of reduction, oxidation. In a redox reaction, you have a substance being oxidized, which means the substance is losing electrons, and you have a substance being reduced, which means the substance is gaining electrons. Electrons exist in discrete orbital shells when bound to an atom. The further away the orbital shell is from the nucleus, the higher the energy level the electron is in. In a redox reaction, electrons will move from a high energy state to a lower energy state and give off a photon of light as a result. This photon is then absorbed by the surrounding environment and produces heat from the macroscopic view. Alternatively, sometimes kinetic energy is produced in the product molecules of the redox reaction, and from the macroscopic view, this manifests as heat as well. Let's take a look at a simple redox reaction. Here we have two moles of hydrogen molecules reacting with one mole of oxygen. This produces two moles of water molecules and some heat. Oxygen is being reduced while hydrogen is being oxidized. In water, two hydrogen atoms are covalently bonded to a single oxygen atom. The electrons bound to the hydrogen atoms are shared with the oxygen atom, which is far more electronegative than the hydrogen atoms, so therefore it pulls the electrons closer to its nucleus than the hydrogen atoms ever could. As a result, the electrons move from a high energy state to a low energy state and release ultraviolet photons as a result. Since ultraviolet light is invisible to the human eye, burning hydrogen produces only a very faint flame that glows due to black body radiation. As stated before, the visible portion of fire is called flame and is produced whenever there is enough heat in the air. Heat in the microscopic view is merely kinetic energy of particles. Kinetic energy can be imparted to air particles in a variety of different ways and produces flames. Fire can produce flames, but so can electromagnetic radiation or simple light. In a nuclear explosion, 80% of the energy produced is in the form of X-ray photons, and these photons are quickly absorbed by the atmosphere and turned into flames and some plasma. If you were to detonate a nuclear weapon in outer space with no atmosphere, you get a very different looking explosion with no flames produced at all. Alternatively, flames can be produced by simple kinetic energy. For example, a meteor falls into our atmosphere and burns up, producing flames. There is no redox reaction occurring in either case, but yet flames are still produced. So it's important to make the distinction between fire and flame. So what is the difference between plasma and flame? Both can have similar properties, which is why they are sometimes confused with each other. Flame is just a hot gas emitting black body radiation, while plasma is an ionized substance. Ionization means a substance has taken on an electric charge either by adding electrons to it, giving it a negative charge, or stripping electrons from it, giving it a positive charge. If you were to heat a gas enough, eventually the electrons bound to the individual atoms will become stripped off, and positively charged plasma results. This is the reason why plasma is often thought of as a very hot substance, but it doesn't always have to be hot. Artificial methods of stripping off electrons using lasers have been developed and have produced cold and ultra-cold plasmas. Since flame is just a hot gas, it acts as an electric insulator, while plasma is an excellent electric conductor. Plasmas will react to electric and magnetic fields as a result, while flames will not. So let's go back to our original video of a railgun firing a metal projectile. Is the plume a flame or a plasma? The plume is a flame trail, created by bits of the projectile disintegrating off and heating up the air, creating flames. So now you know better, and that was Enigma Hood's Greatest Misconceptions.